Hello, everyone. It's Zoe. 今天这一期闺蜜美玉蜜将会全程都是英文的，因为今天和我聊天的是帕梅拉 Pamela. I'm in her kitchen right now. Yes. Hello, everyone. 我是帕梅拉 We are here in Kaohsiung, which is funny because I actually expected us to meet in Shanghai. Yes, in Shanghai. Because we're both traveling to Shanghai. I'm coming this Saturday, the 19th, and you? I would be there on the 26th. And you can meet us. About the Shanghai information, we would put it down below, so don't miss it. You know what? You are one of the first fitness influencer I follow、mm-hmm. on Instagram. <laughs> That was like probably 2016. I haven't started my YouTube channel yet.、Yeah. You also, I think, you only have Instagram or、yeah. you are my booty girl. Thank you so much. <laughs> And since you came all the way to visit、mm-hmm. me here in Kaohsiung, I will of course prepare some food for you. I'm excited. Yes, I will prepare the classic Pamela bowl, so、mm-hmm. you can taste what I love to eat every time in the morning. So I'm excited to see if you like it. I actually. Eat oatmeal almost every morning. Really? Every morning, yeah. So I will do the apple pie oatmeal. It's、mm-hmm. one of my favorites, and I have two ways of doing that. So either we do the home cooking one on the、mm-hmm. stove, or we can also do a lazy one if you don't want to cook and if you don't want to wash anything afterwards. While we are making the food, let's chat about the differences between our online personas and our real life personality. Okay. And I believe most people assume us stress free because we seem so energetic on、mm-hmm. camera. Especially you, actually, because I actually started sharing quite some backstory of mine. So today we're gonna review everything behind the curtain. <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready to review、okay. the curtain. Yeah. yeah. I think our field of work is all about spreading positivity and helping people to get healthier, more active. Recently, during an interview, I was asked why I seem so extroverted online. In real life, I come across very calm and introverted. What about you? Have you done the 16 personality test? I am the ISTJ. I so I'm also partly introverted, but I'm like the calm one. So maybe I have I don't know a stomach ache or something, but you will never see it on the outside.、Uh, so that is、okay. the difference for me. But、um, I am in general a very very happy person,、mm-hmm. and I also know what to do when I'm not happy. For me, in front of the camera, really hype because I want、ah. to hype people up. Yeah. Like, Let's get active. Yeah. And then in real life, I'm also like the calm one.、Mm-hmm. But if in the gathering there is an extrovert, then I can be very very quiet. Yeah. If everyone. Is introverted. I would be very extroverted. So, so you balance out everybody who's in the room.、Uh-huh. That's a very nice personality trait. Think, yeah, because, because I, you don't need to be the center、yeah. of attention, but you can adapt to yes, what is、yes. what is best in the situation. Yeah. And the ISTJ is also a very rational type、mm-hmm. of person, and that's also very me. I can really differentiate between emotions and just rational logic.、Mm-hmm. So I really like that about myself.、Mm-hmm. And what is your personality? I am actually INFJ. I think and assertive. Yeah. Uh-huh. Also introverted. Actually, more than seventy percent introverted.、Mm-hmm. So if we look at it now, so this one is the one that、uh-huh. we cooked on the stove.、Mm-hmm. So that one is the one with milk, and it's super creamy. And that one、This、is, is the lazy one,、yeah. but it's still like very, very、mm-hmm. creamy and has a good texture. So、yeah. there are two options for the same thing. One thing I find interesting when when I was outside and then I meet some followers on、mm-hmm. the street run into me and they will always say you look better in real life. Or I love that compliment. <laughs> really, always the best compliment to receive. But still, I mean, most people think that we look worse in real life. They think、really? we use a lot of filters、uh-huh. and like only the perfect light, and then、oh, they、okay. expect us to look worse in real life.、Mm-hmm. If they say, "Wow, you look better in real life," because we exceeded the expectations, you know. <laughs> good to know. Good That's to a good way to think. And then they always say, "I look." Taller, bigger in、mm-hmm. real life. Bigger? Uh huh. I think you look super tiny. Really? Yeah. I I think you came into the door and I was thinking like, wow, she has such an amazing body. She's so like slim and nicely shaped. I was not thinking you're bigger. But you so know, when you run into your followers, what do you hear the most? So they mostly say that I'm very friendly,、mm-hmm. because for me every day is kind of positive, and I always think if they run into me, they have like one or two minutes with me. I really、mm-hmm. want this to be a good moment good for them,、yeah. for them. So、mm-hmm. I really try to make it very positive and friendly、mm-hmm. for them. But they also say that I'm way shorter than they expected, <laughs> because on social media we try to make Me look, I don't know, like tall or something.、Um, and put the camera yeah, lower. Yeah, put the camera lower, kind of look from below because it looks nicer. But I'm only 163, and that's way shorter、mm-hmm. than they expect. But you have really nice proportion, so that's what it matters. Thank you.、Yeah. Last year, I experienced really severe burnout, and I stopped social media. I paused it altogether, and for almost a year. Oh yeah.、Mm-hmm. I was wondering, you are growing like bigger and bigger, and now you're managing two brands, right?、Mm-hmm. 
and how do you manage this pressure? Do you feel like the pressure also growing? Yeah, I definitely feel the, uh, the pressure is growing for me. If you just have two brands, it's not mm -hmm. only about you anymore. Yeah. I have a lot of employees to take mm -hmm. care of, but I also feel a lot of responsibility coming mm -hmm. with it. And diamonds are made under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's yeah. very true. Yeah. How can you carry so much load on your shoulder? So first of all, I need to feel my best always to mm -hmm. perform at my best. So I really watch my nutrition and my mm -hmm. fitness because mm -hmm. if I don't have the energy, everything else will really suffer. Yeah. And then the second point is the structure. Mm -hmm. I'm such a structured person. I write to-do lists for everything. My calendar is super structured. I have a to-do list for the week. I have a to-do list for the day. Mm -hmm. um, and the number three is, of course, having a look at which tasks you can give to other people that mm -hmm. they can also do. Mm -hmm. I have my family very close to me and mm -hmm. they're like a support system, mm -hmm. but they also help me with work. And I have employees for certain things. Mm -hmm. And what do you do when you want to rest, want to stop for a bit, like when you feel, okay, now it's too much, you don't feel your full energy? I think you just have to accept that every negative thought and every down moment will pass. Mm -hmm. It's just like clouds on the sky. They will mm -hmm. come and they will go. Mm -hmm. And for me, mostly, one night of sleep will solve everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I'm tired and mm -hmm. if I don't have the energy, mm -hmm. just going to sleep, all of the problems will only seem half as mm -hmm. big the next morning. For me, probably it's working out, definitely. And yeah. then it's reading. Reading? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I really like outdoor activity, but the weather now in mm -hmm. Germany really is it's not really allowing. bad. Yeah. <laughs> So I would just enjoy a hot tea, a nice mm -hmm. book by the fire, mm -hmm. and that really helped me. Mm -hmm. And another thing really helped me is crying. Mm -hmm. Crying? Yes. Oh, yeah. But I used to think crying is a bad thing. Crying is something you need to hide. Mm -hmm. You can know that people see it, it's shameful, it's scary. Mm -hmm. But now I feel like crying really helped me to empty my mind and like all this emotion, all this negativity came out of my body. Mm -hmm. And I learned to cry in front of my husband, yeah. <laughs> my friends and my family actually too. Mm -hmm. You know in China people call you an AI, do you know that? <laughs> No, no. AI is like no emotion, right? Mm -hmm. When's the last time you cried? I was um, going through a breakup. Oh. It was kind of like stretching itself. Like yeah. in the moment you're strong, mm -hmm. and then when it's over, like you're like, oh my gosh, yeah. all the emotions <laughs> over me. And that was also the first time I really learned to cry in front of my mother. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy for you too, like that <laughs> you learn to cry yes. in front of your family. Yeah. But if you learn to cry about yourself, mm -hmm. it's a different level of getting to know yourself also. Yeah. I taste cinnamon too. It's in the mm -hmm. oats or in the cream? In the oats. Oh. It's apple and cinnamon. Besides work and working out, what's your hobby? I'm a robot. I don't have hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, mainly it's working out, it's cooking. Mm -hmm. So, it's just the way it is. Everything that I love turned into my job. And I don't have a secret hobby, to be honest. Ah, you know what I do? Mm -hmm. I send a lot of voice notes. I have like private podcasts with two friends mainly. One of them is my um, cousin, she's living in Tasmania, mm -hmm. and she will always get like half an hour or 60 minutes of voice notes of me. But what do you talk about? Like, Oh, everything. I share my entire life, all the private okay. topics that, for example, never, not even my mom gets to know about. Okay. We have like no filter in between okay. us. And I have two friends and I have like two private podcasts. <laughs> that is my hobby. But otherwise, I have to say I don't have a lot of fun. Okay, I really enjoy our conversation, but it's getting too long now, this video. So maybe we can eat and then do another half. Yes, yes. We will. Yeah. And that's going to be on my channel. Yes. 第二部分我们会聊到如何在忙事业的同时去照顾我们的身心，会在帕梅拉的频道上播出。那我们下期见吧。Dennis is living the happy life. I just asked Dennis, when did you cry the last time? He said, it was 2016. <laughs> Since then, you never break up or you never have a girlfriend?